Thank you for joining EdPlace Live Lessons from your homes. I'm Mrs Bale and you've joined us for a Year 9 lesson on gradients today. We're an online digital learning platform written for students in Year 1 to Year 11, offering English, Maths, Science and 11 plus self-marked activities written by fully qualified teachers. We're bringing live English, Maths and Science lessons into your homes during the school closure period, so why not join us over the next few weeks as we tackle some key topics. You might find it useful to have a pen and paper handy as we go so that you can make a note of key ideas or jot things down. You'll also need to access your EdPlace account. If you don't have an EdPlace account, do not worry. You can access all of our activities if you go to, to edplace.com. We'll go over this in more detail when we get to that part. So welcome to today's Year 9 Maths lesson on gradients with Mrs Bale. By the end of today's lesson, we're aiming to have achieved either one or all of the following three steps. Recognise a gradient as positive or negative. Calculate a gradient by making the correct measurements on a graph. And calculate the gradients using two sets of coordinates. First, let us understand what a gradient is. The gradient is just a number that tells us the steepness of a line. It can be positive, negative or zero. In this first example, we have a shallow line, which means the value of the gradient will be small. And in the second example, the line is steep. And this means the value of the gradient will be high. In this next example, the line is going downwards, so the gradient will be negative. And this final example, the line is horizontal, which means there's no gradient. Let's start by looking at how to calculate a gradient from a graph. The first thing we do is to draw two straight lines to turn your line into a right angled triangle. For example, to find the gradient of, gradient of this line, we draw in two lines as we can see here in red. It doesn't matter how big uh, you draw your triangle, will not affect your final answer. However, it is a good idea to make the triangle as large as possible. And to make things easier, use a whole number of squares. Next, we measure the height and base of the triangle. A common mistake the students make is to measure the lines with a ruler. This will give incorrect numbers if the scale on the axes are not in centimetres. Always use the numbers on the axes to work out the lengths. It really is as simple as counting squares. So the height of this triangle is 6 and the base is 12. It's now time to introduce the equation. The equation of the gradient is delta y over delta x. It looks a bit complicated, but it just means the change in the y coordinate divided by the change in the x coordinates. In other words, it's just the height of the triangle divided by the base of the triangle. So the change in y is 6 and the change in x is 12. So 6 divided by 12 is a half. So the gradient of this line is a half. So finding the gradient is as simple as drawing a right angled triangle and dividing the height by the base. However, you don't even need to have the graph in front of you to find the gradient. As the gradient of a line is the change in y coordinates divided by the change in the x coordinates, we just need two pairs of coordinates. For example, an exam question may say, find the gradient of a line that passes through 1, 3 and 3, 15. So looking at the y coordinates, which are 3 and 15 in this question, 3 to 15 is a change of 12. Then looking at the x coordinates, which are 1 and 3 in this question, 1 to 3 is a change of 2. So to calculate the gradient, we take the change in the y coordinates and divide by the change in the x coordinates. So we take 12 and divide by 2. So the gradient of this line is 6. In a moment, I'm going to direct you to an activity you can use to practice what we've just learned. Please log in to your EdPlace account or go to www.edplace.com. The next slide will show you the activity we're going to use today. The activity we are looking for is called Calculate the Gradient of a Line. 
Those of you with an account go straight to Maths, choose Year 9 and finally select Coordinate Geometry, while those of you without an account should go to the Learn tab on the website and then to Maths. We then go to Year 9, select the Curriculum tab and then go to Algebra. You will then need to select Use Linear Equations, Two Variables and Gradients. Take a look through and you should find Calculate the Gradients of a Line. Please click on the activity to start. If you are struggling to find this activity, please visit our support site on screen for a quick walkthrough on how to locate activities. I just want to make sure that we're all in the right place. This is the introduction you should be able to see. If you can't see this as the introduction to the activity, please go back to the worksheets to make sure you have selected the correct one according to the previous slide. If you can see this introduction, you're ready to start. As soon as you're ready, please pause my lesson and start the activity. I will go through three of the questions in the next stage of the lesson, so don't worry if you get stuck. Let's take a look through some of the questions you've just completed. So for question one, step one is to turn your line into a right angled triangle. We want to make our triangle as large as possible, whilst using whole squares in our calculation. Step two is to count the squares to find the height of the triangle and the base of the triangle. So the height is 10 and the base is 5. To calculate the gradient, we take the height of the triangle and divide by the base of the triangle. So we divide 10 by 5. So for this line, our gradient is 2. In this next example, again, step one is to turn our line into a right angled triangle. Step two is to count the squares to find the height of the triangle and the base of the triangle. So the height is nine and the base is nine. And finally, step three is to calculate the gradient. We take the height of the triangle and divide by the base of the triangle. So we divide nine by nine. So for this line, the gradient is one. In our final question, um, again, the first thing to do is to turn our line into a right angled triangle. Step two is to count the squares to find the height of the triangle and the base of the triangle. For this line, the height is six and the base is nine. And finally, step three is to calculate the gradient we take the height of the triangle and divide it by the base of the triangle. So we divide six by nine. So for this line, we can leave the answer as six over nine as a fraction, or we can simplify to give two over three. Let's recap what we set out to do today. How did you get on? Are you able to recognize a gradient as positive or negative? Calculate a gradient by making the correct measurements on a graph. Calculate the gradient using two sets of coordinates. If you have met one or all of these, excellent work. You have achieved our objectives for today. Remember, with new or challenging topics, practice really does make perfect. If you'd like to practice these skills further, why not try these activities we picked out for you?